Subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified about the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. This is TRS Clips. What's the world of films like from the inside? What do people don't understand from the outside? I don't know what generally people think about it, but it's a lot of hard work. Um, you know, like I think a lot of people just see this glamorous side of it, and you, you know, people's response to that might be, "Oh, but every job is hard," and that's true. But it is hard. Yeah, yeah. But there's certain things about the film industry in specific. Like I'm from the media world, and mm. even we work incredibly hard. But you guys have a different reality, which only people on the inside. No, and I'm saying that because it's wrapped in this glossy way is the only mm. reason I'm saying. But actually, it's very hard. You mm. know, uh, like a lot of jobs are hard and they look very hard. But you know, acting sometimes it just comes off as effortless. And I think you see a lot of actors on red carpets or doing events or dressing up every single day, and that's really not it. You know, that's just probably a byproduct of the actual job that we're doing, which is acting, and it's emotionally draining and it's physically draining and. it's hard because there's so many things like insecurity and pressure and competition what, what insecurity is that i mean everyone has their own sets of insecurities right mm. i mean it, so i look at the film industry as a very ruthless world like you can be replaced like that probably but again you can be replaced anywhere just like that if you're not good at your job so you constantly have to keep bettering yourself and getting better um and you kind of have to work to a point where you can't be replaced in a way you mm. have to bring something unique and you have to have a different voice what's your unique voice like what are you saying my unique voice is um very straight up i think you're a beautiful lady firstly okay like that's that's definitely an aspect of it and i think you're one of like the best looking people in india and That's seriously so much. no i mean and i'm not i'm not the only, i've had these conversations with other people breaking down i'm really bad with compliments <laughs> like shy yeah but today you're looking like shit so oh, okay good no. that's fine huh? <laughs> but uh, no no I'm, i'm kidding i know uh that's that's a part of the brand i also feel that people uh, misunderstand you and sometimes maybe that misunderstanding also helps that it at least makes it a part of conversation I feel as you grow older because of who you are and you're very young dude you're like 23 yeah. like I remember you from school and you were like anyway you were a kid hmm. so like um I can't imagine your reality honestly um but I feel the world will get to know you as your career moves forward and people know like 10% of you uh, I also feel a lot of the things you might say in public uh, there are a lot of thoughts that go behind it but you're growing up in front of the whole world and that's why that miscommunication yeah. happens yeah. now speaking in terms of brand um uh i think people would want to work with you because um your performances have inno- innocence like in them uh and maybe that's because you are in your heart an innocent person um you are like you you're, you don't have bad intent uh that's what i can definitely say and i have met a lot of people from the industry from outside the industry who do have some level of bad intent you know or maybe mm. some intense intent which eventually becomes bad mm. but if if i would be rude enough to just tell you and other things straight up uh, i would love to see you in like some really dark stuff going forward no that's not rude that's helpful to know i feel like i have made a conscious effort to it's okay i feel like if i do get judged sometimes or it's okay if i make mistakes i'm not someone who freaks out if i've probably said the wrong thing or you know not uh, presented myself as well i'm i'm okay with that because i've decided to do this i've decided to uh, be an actor now that i'm here i have to be okay with um you know people uh, judging me dissecting or, you dissect almost yeah actually like looking at me like through a microscope and judging every there is obviously a lot of jealousy around you i'm sure you know that i'm not just talking about actors like even even the people who hate ananya pandey hate her from a perspective of jealousy there is the the n word all that it's there i think it's more of like not understanding me and thinking that they know me you know because i think people also have to realize that what they see even in this podcast I'm being as honest as I can but you'll never know entirely who I am as a person what hap- what I what I feel every day my relationship that I share with everyone around me you know you'll never be able to see uh that entirety of me in that sense and I feel like people forget that sometimes you know they just see an actor on a particular interview or walking somewhere and then they judge you know, how can you judge someone just in one meeting or one interaction or mm. one interview you know that's a facet of my personality that's like mm. one side of me that i'm choosing to put out there mm. but what about the 
5 billion good or bad other things about me. you know that's the beauty of podcasts that the maximum version of that yeah. can only happen on a podcast it yeah. can't happen yeah. in an interview it can't happen through even a film yeah. because a film limits film is to no you don't see anything yeah. of the, like i think people sometimes think actors are that what they're portraying in films is actually who they are which mm. is completely the opposite mm. many times sometimes it could be close to who you are as a person but you're never playing yourself on screen mm. unless you're doing some like special appearance as yourself